Daniel Long, Nottingham Trent University, Review, The Tragedy of Blayberg and Victring, 1945. Greatly Extended Edition, by Florian Thomas Rulitz Translated from German by Andreas Niedermeyer, Northern Illinois University Press, DeKalb, 2016, New Press slash Northern Illinois University Press, in DeKalb near Chicago 2016. Plus 307. In the Journal of Military History, 81, 3, July 2017, 915-17. The Journal of Military History, George C. Marshall Library, Virginia Military Institute Lexington, Virginia, 24450. HTTP www.smh-hq.org slash jmh slash jmh vol slash 814.html slash Blayberg and Victring represent symbols of memorial sites for the thousands of Croatian civilians and soldiers that were murdered at the end of the Second World War. The complex and sensitive nature that signified the final conflicts in the wake of Second World War are remembered by Croatians every year on May 15. The English translation provides an important and much-needed discussion on the sensitive and highly volatile political nature at the end of the conflict. The expansive use of archival research from a wide range of institutions including the use of ex-Yugoslav communist archives provides insightful and important eyewitness accounts from those few survivors. These massacres confirm that the new authorities wished to kill their potential opponents first and foremost in a revolutionary furor, p. 157. The work though is much more than identifying the tragic events. It identifies the importance of building national identity since post-war Yugoslavia. The sensitive nature of memory and oppressive nature of a former communist state suppressed any attempt to examine the events that led to the tragic event. Previous partisan literature over-glorified the role of the ex-communist leader in May 1945. As with the sinking of the Cap Arcona on May 3, 1945, a lack of scholarly attention fueled many myths and conspiracy theories regarding the British attack. In terms of Victring and Blayberg myths flourished leading to a competition of victimhood. Outlining the use of mass graves by the right-wing German Carinthian activists, Rulitz identifies that without scholarly attention, memory of tragic events is often misinterpreted and thus leads to an unhealthy distortion. Dr. Rulitz's work is the first significant attempt to redress the historical inaccuracies that have become accepted historical narrative. In May 1945 a British-Yugoslav agreement led to all Yugoslavian citizens currently residing in Austria to be surrendered. Many thousands had tried to escape from the Tito's communist partisans during that same month. From his research Rulitz provides an indication that the total number of refugees was about a quarter of million but highlights difficulties in the source material. Interestingly, the position Rulitz adopts with regards to the role of Britain is largely positive. In summarizing his main argument, he views the British actions as using the refugees as a negotiating tool for the withdrawal of Tito's partisans from Austria. For those Croatian refugees that had sought to escape their persecutors, they were taken to Blayberg Field. Yugoslavia formally assured the British that correct treatment of prisoners would be overseen, there were indeed doubts. Yugoslav troops had already begun the massacre of prisoners on Austrian soil. Rulitz identifies that the communist regime viewed these prisoners as members of the Wehrmacht and the SS, as well as Austrian civilians caught in the group. Interestingly, he identified that most of the murders were committed by members of the secret police or OZNA. This was under the direct order of the communist leaders of the partisan movement. Moreover, he estimates that approximately two-thirds of the Austrian civilians were buried in a mass grave in the Slovenian town of Lyasha close to the border although key data remains elusive. One slight drawback is the lack of more accurate figures. If the data remains elusive, in all likelihood there is limited chance that further figures may be obtained. The end of the Second World War brought with it an incalculable number of forced migration. The tragedy of Blayberg and Victring draw similar parallels with the forced migration of former German refugees residing in East Prussia in January 1945. The flight and expulsion of East Germans at the war's end was marked by brutal reprisals of Soviet troops and horror stories that marked the final months. For victims of conflict, a major hurdle is the hunt for historical remembrance. 
Victimhood is often a sensitive and emotive subject which is still relevant in political discussions in Germany today. The tragedies of Bleiberg and Victring demonstrate that there is still a problem with modern historiography in attempting to redress the issue of remembrance. Rulitz's book finally brings to the forefront the crimes and horrors of Allied and Yugoslav communist crimes against Croatian civilians and Axis soldiers. Not every victim is equal. The final chapters of this book examine more closely the epicenters of mass murder in Croatia and Slovenia. In examining a series of archival documents, as well as excavations Rulitz argues that there is a suspected 900 burial sites in Croatia alone, having located approximately 600 site in Slovenia, p. 109, in drawing comparisons Rulitz identifies growing disparities between the two states. Commission work in Slovenia is by and large positive in attempting to redress the historical imbalance, while work to uncover the killing sites in Croatia is slow, p. 112. By and large the work produced by Rulitz cannot be diminished by the small critiques. In revealing the historical myths, and complicated historical narrative, the reconstructive element of his thorough archival search has produced a meticulous account on the tragedies of Bleiberg and Victring. This book demonstrates that some 70 years after the conflict, there is still much work needed before victims of the Second World War are all equally remembered. The Journal of Military History, 2017 USA slash Daniel Long, Nottingham Trent University Nottingham, United Kingdom, http wwwsmh hqorg slash jmh slash jmh vol slash 814.html slash the Journal of Military History, 81, 3, July 2017, 915-17. The Journal of Military History, George C. Marshall Library. Virginia Military Institute Lexington, Virginia 24450 HTTP hqorg slash jmh slash jmh vol slash 814.html slash